Hello everyone. Welcome to MG4102. My name is Nerferi Duros D. Today we will learn about life cycle of soap. So, let's we start. Have you ever wondered, why this thing can make you clean and fresh? What is it made of? So, let's we dig it up. In this video, we will learn about introduction of soap, history of soap uses and production, five stages of soap life cycle, and lastly, impact and solution of soap to environment. Soap is a substance that can remove dirt from body, cloth, and other solids when it dissolve in water. There are four physical chemical steps of cleaning, which are wetting surface, absorption, dispersion, prevent and suspending. Soap chemical structures. Their molecules must contain a hydrophobic group and hydrophilic group. History uses of soap. Soap has been known for at least 2,300 years. In 600 before century, the Phoenicians used goat's tallow and wood ashes to make soap. The word soap derived from the Celts, whose name their product sable. However, in 2nd century, importance of soap for washing and cleaning only being recognized. Previously, it has been used as medicine. In 13th and 14th century, there are tax for every soap produced. After Napoleonic War, tax for all soap rose. However, in 19th century, tax was abolished and soap become common use. Early soap maker use ashes and animal fats to make soap throughout boiling, evaporation, and cooling process. Saponification is a process where slow chemical splitting neutral fats and react with alkali carbonate from ashes to form soap. In 1790, introduction of Leblanc process had turned soap from handicrafts to industry. At the end of 19th century, soap production using open steam method bring another step to industrialization. Synthetic detergent, invented by German during World War I, to replace fats. So that, it can be used for other purposes. Next, let's we go to life cycle of soap. There are five step, life cycle of soap. Starts with raw materials extraction, manufacturing, distribution, usage, and lastly, end of life. Raw materials, and additive. There are two main ingredients to make soap, which is alkali and fat soil. Optical brighters, abrasive, and chelating agents are its additives. Most common alkali uses sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. And most important alkali to make soap is sodium silicate, sodium carbonate, sodium perborate, and various phosphates. There are four types of fat soil that can be used according to the soap products they yield. First, hard fats yielding slow leathering soaps made from vegetable oil or palm oil that are mostly used in the international industry. Second, hard fats yielding quick lathering sopas usually made from coconut oil and palm kernel oil that are suitable to produce marine soap. Next, oils yielding soaps of soft consistency made from olive oil or linseed oil that may produce rancid and discolored soap. Lastly, rosin and tall oil. Rosin usually used to make laundry soap, less expensive bath soap, while tall oil used in liquid soap. Optical brighters. Usually used in laundry detergent. It will make cloth whiter and brighter. Next. Abrasive is water-insoluble minerals that often powdered and added into soap and synthetic detergent. Example of abrasive are talc, pumice, feldspar, and sawdust. And lastly, chelating agents. Ethylene ediaminate atricetic acid, or EDDA, and natrium salt will act as water softener. Calcium and magnesium ions are inactive in hard water. Thus, water will effectively soften. Soap manufacturing. First, fats and alkali will be mixed together, then heated, or boiled and undergoes saponification process. There are several processes to produce neat soap and segregate glycerin, such as classical boiling process, continuous process, hydrolyzer process, cold process, and semibrial process. 
Next, it will treat it with perfumes, colors, and special additives such as vitamin and disinfectant effect. Lastly, it will be cooled in frames, cut into size, and stamp. Soap Distribution After soaps successfully produced, packed and labeled, they will be packed into cartons and loaded into trucks and soaps readily to be transported to distributors and buyers. Soap Usage Did you know? Bar soap can last for 4 to 6 weeks and even more as long as you let it dry out between uses. Water consumption, during hand wash, shower, and cleaning, depends on soap type, water pressure, and faucet turn on or off when using soap. Can you imagine? Washing hands with running water, uses 4 gallons. While turning water off, we only use 1 gallon. End of life of soap. Soap residue will exit household, through drainage, and stream. Empty plastic bottles and plastic wrapper of soap usually end up either in landfill or being recycled. Impact of soap to environment Raw material extraction to get oils such as palm oil will convert forest into agriculture area. Waste generation of plastic packaging and wrapper will end up in the landfill. Residue in water bath such as SLS fragrance and dyes might cause low to moderate aquatic toxicity and also cause algae bloom estimated total mass of water consumed per kilograms of product 1200 kilograms and 5200 kilograms of water for hand wash and dish soap transportation of raw materials and final product using trucks will cause air pollution liquid soap has 10 times carbon footprint of bar soap because of their manufacturing process and plastic packaging. Surprisingly, another fact about soaps and detergents in terms of air pollution. It pollutes as much as car because of volatile organic compounds or VOC emission from the products. Did you know, one ounce biodegradable soap needs to be diluted in 20,000 ounces of water to be safe for the fish. So, what can we do? You see Cobar soap. Soap that wrap using paper or cardboard, besides only use 30% less water than liquid soap. It also have greener manufacturing process. Zero waste laundry detergents means that it is cruelty free, vegan, free or minimal plastic use and lighter to ship than liquid detergent. We should choose soap ingredients carefully. That not contain parabens, SLS and others. Try to get mild ingredients with low pH to maintain balances on skin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you.